down the Mississippi past St. Louis, right south to New Orleans. Down the bold, brawling Mississippi, a runaway boy and his staunch friend. From the pleasures of the glamorous riverboat to the terrors of a haunted houseboat. Like a ghostly coffin filled with gold. <laughs> This week, we finally leave Alton, Illinois, traveling down the Mississippi and up the Ohio River to Paducah, Kentucky. The Alton Marina is not a bad place to be stuck. We ate at several places in town, visited a museum, attended several looper gatherings, and I was able to get a haircut. On Thursday, September 30th, we once again set out for our next stop downriver. This section of the Mississippi is not an especially friendly place for recreational boaters. The lock tenders and the towboat captains think of us as second-class citizens. There are no marinas or tiki bars or any other waterfront pleasantries that make boating fun. What this section of the Mississippi does have is hobbies. Hoppies is not really a marina, and definitely not a resort. It's no more than a safe place to tie up for the night and get some fuel if you need it. Hoppies is a short walk from the village of Kimswick, Missouri, and we walk there to get some dinner. Thank you. 
Friday, October 1st, and we leave our luxurious accommodations at Hoppy's and head south to an anchorage called Kaskaskia Bend. There's a side channel with a lock, where for years people have been able to tie up for the night. But there's currently a dredging project underway, so we have to anchor on a nearby bend in the river out of the channel. We don't have much experience anchoring in current, not Mississippi River current, and not in an area where huge barges are going past all day and night. So this wasn't a relaxing night for us. The next morning, after not much sleep, we pulled anchor and headed off downstream. It was windy and rainy most of the day. The high point was when we passed through Chester, Illinois, the birthplace of someone who's been a hero and inspiration to me, Popeye the Sailor. Other than that, it was a long, wet, tiring day, and we were happy to drop the anchor and shut the engine down. Little Diversion Canal was a quiet, peaceful spot, and we slept well until we started hearing clunking noises outside at about 5 a.m. It turns out that the day's rain had made its way to the canal. The current was stronger and floating debris was bumping against the boat. There were three other boats anchored behind us and apparently two of them dragged anchor in the night and at least one boat received some damage. We left that spot at sunrise and continued south toward Cairo on the Illinois side of the Mississippi, where we anchored in a spot called Angelo Towhead. As of this evening, at Angelo Towhead, we've completed over 2,000 miles of travel on this trip. Monday, October 4th, and we leave the Mississippi River behind and turn up the Ohio. We really enjoyed this part of the trip. 
We got through the Olmstead lock quickly and had little trouble with the two knots of opposing current. We pulled into Paducah, Kentucky at about 4.30 p.m. and had a celebratory beer. And here's where we leave you for this week. See you next time. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat my spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Well, blow me down.